you know this road. I know this road. I'm going to be Attenborough for a day or for a couple of hours because why not? morning it's very very early it's 6 30 in the morning high tide was apparently 5 30 but i'm correct i'm still getting pulled in just about so it's a nice little float beautiful beautiful skies behind me i'm just not a bit sure about this weather <laughs> do i trust the weather or not i'm not sure we'll be all right This river is super, super, super clear. I'm surrounded by mangroves. I'm just floating around now because it's still floating me in. And the water is so clear. And now the river's starting to open up here. We can see some fish pens and we can see the mountains behind it. And I'm starting to think I might do my David Attenborough impression. line for the fish pens that's what I do I understand why they put fish pens here because this water is super super clean and really really clear so they get really really good quality fish this is such a nice beautiful natural place surrounded by mangroves fish pens in the middle mountains behind you know I've started to love rivers a lot, lot more since I've, uh, since I've been on the Katil River. And every river is very, very different. The Katil River is, it's just beautiful. It has the mangrove section, it has the not mangrove section, it has the other section with the rocks and the rapids. It has, there's, there's technical terms for these, but I have no idea. But I really, really like this river on first glance. It's mangroves. I'm gonna go up river. I'm gonna see what's up here. Let's go explore a bit. I'm gonna go hide in the mangroves from Kulas. Then I'm gonna jump out and it's gonna be very, very funny. If I can do this one handed. That turned out to be a good decision, actually, because a jet ski just went past and started blasting water everywhere. Ah! Jet ski alert! Mission failed. He saw me coming in my giant red kayak in the green mangroves. Who'd have known? 
They're making they're making your life exciting. They're giving you some exciting. Oh no, there's a speedboat coming. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I'm gonna put my camera down and focus on kayaking. <laughs> Best passes. I'm gonna come join you trespassing. <laughs> trespassers club. I'm in an old fish pen. And I'm here because I love everything related to fish farming. I love the old Dart house too. Okay, I'm leaving. Sorry, owner of abandoned fish pen. Let's see where we're going next. This little boat right here reminds me of when I was in Matty and I said I was going to become David Attenborough and go paddle in the mangroves. And now it's inspired me to go paddling into the mangroves. Except I'm going straight for a mangrove because I'm filming and not paddling. Oh! <laughs> da Ot Attenborough. Da Ot Attenborough. Can you hear the birds? Listen to the sounds of nature, only disturbed by the noise of me paddling water and the occasional speedboat and jet ski. Welcome to the Bobbinow River. I'm not David Attenborough, but I wish I was. So the Katil River has the mangrovey bit and the not mangrovey bit. The Bobonau River has the mangrovey bit and the Daot dead mangrove bit. Or maybe I'm just right close to the ocean still. I haven't gone very far. <laughs> I'm not really sure. <laughs> I don't know how far up my actual destination is. Let's have a look and see. I'm 
trying to work out if this is some sort of religious thing or if these crosses were just part of the design of the house before. I'm here with this little post for company. I realized I'm not even halfway up to where I want to be. It's been two hours and the tide's turning. So this may or may not be a good idea, but I'm gonna wait here and see where on earth Kurat has got to on his crazy paddleboard. distance I spot a crazy Canadian on his paddleboard. I think we're going for it, even if it's a bad idea. I'm in a mangrove. This is Da'ot Ali. Definitely Da'ot Ali. if you can see that but the water is starting to move out really really quickly and if we push to Carolina this is gonna be difficult and I need to eat because I'm fat and fat people need to eat This is a not abandoned fish pen. I think Kulas is going to steal some fish from the fish pen. He's going there, he says he's droning. He's definitely gonna steal fish. So I'm here in a fish pen in the middle of the Bobonau River, wandering around, not trespassing, don't worry, they let me, looking at Bangos, because I don't look at Bangos often enough. Ah, Kawasan! <laughs> Someone's taking my boat for a ride! And I'm in a fish pen! in the middle of the river and these are really really cool I can see some bangos I'm gonna go have a look at some bangos a bit closer so there's two ways of farming fish you either do it in cages or pens like this one or you can do it in ponds the benefit of doing it in pens is, is much cheaper to set up and the water's always fresh, so you can stock them really, really dense. The only problem is they use a lot of feeds, but both methods are pretty nice, huh? Three mushrooms too. This 
guy's stand-up kayaking. Now that's that's brilliant. <laughs> stand-up kayaking. <laughs> Leap <Levi. laughs> Okay, I've attached my camera to the world's largest selfie stick, otherwise known as a kayak. And I had good fun at that fish pen there, looking around at the fish. And those guys had a great time as well. I'm going back to Langoyen because I'm so hungry and I've been on this river for about twice as long as I was expecting. Has anyone seen a Canadian on a giant yellow paddleboard because I took the shortcut and I don't know where he's gone. Where is he? Don't tell me he's got ahead of me. I filmed him. I found him. I found him. He's filming a poor guy who just wants to catch crabs. What he doesn't realise is he's just given me the chance to get ahead in the very, very important race back. was done for the week up in Maragusan with the Zumba that's my exercise for the year and I've just realized I keep doing exercise in vlogs what's happening what's changing commander doesn't exercise right Going to the ER. 